Hey everybody, this is Jesse with HGC One Softwater. Today I'm going to show you a really easy method to transfer data between your HGC One M8 and your PC. Normally if you want to transfer data between your PC and an Android device, what you have to do is you plug your phone into your computer using a micro USB cable and then you transfer data using MTP, which stands for Media Transfer Protocol. Once you do that, you'll go into Windows Explorer and it'll look like this, and your phone will pop up down here, or at least it should, and then you can explore it like you would any other uh, storage device. Um, but there's problems with that. Sometimes it doesn't work because there's a problem with drivers or you just don't have everything you need to make it happen, and people have issues with that. The HTC M8, people have been complaining that in the forums, they've been having a hard time making that connection. So this is an alternative method you can use. You can download HTC Sync Manager directly from HTC using the links that I provided. The Sync Manager is a really cool program. It looks like this. It's a very streamlined version of an Explorer. It does everything you need it to, and it does it in a way that looks really good, and it was done specifically for your device. But once you have it downloaded, all you have to do is connect your phone with the micro USB cable and <clears throat> then connect that to your PC. Once you do that, make sure your phone is unlocked so that it can access your phone. I'm gonna unlock my phone here, and then it should pop up. <clears throat> You'll see your device listed right here you'll see um, how much storage you have, and you'll be able to access your, your files on the device. So if you go over here to Gallery, you can explore files on the left by selecting. So if you go and click on the arrow here, you can look at all of the photos on your computer. It'll sync to the, to the file folders under your picture folders on your PC. You can click any of these folders, and then you can just click on the phone icon here to send it to your phone. You could also navigate to your M8 by clicking the drop down icon here and then selecting one of the file folders. And then all you have to do is right click on that, on that file and then copy computer. And then you can select an album or create a new album. You can also hold in the shift key and make multiple selections or you can hit control A to select everything. It's a very easy way to do it and it works really well. You can also exchange files. You can exchange documents, PDF files and office documents from your computer and you can send it to your phone or vice versa. You click files and then you click add to send something to your phone and just select whatever folder you'd find the file and then send it over. You can also just use Google Drive and that works really well too. Another thing HTC has included for you is music. You click music and then you can select music that's on your computer and then send that to your phone. But you have to use HTC's bundled music player, which not everybody likes. Um, <clears throat> so you would go down to display, and then you would add folders where you think the music would be located. You can also automatically import from iTunes or Media Player, which is a nice feature. Again, if you do this, it's going to physically take the music and put it onto the internal storage of your device, which means it's going to take up some space, and you're only going to be able to play it using HTC's embedded music player. So if you don't want to do that, just use Google Music, but this is an option that you can use, and it's, it's not a bad one. Another feature that is really nice that you should check out is that if you go down, if you click on Home and then click on Transfer and Backup, you can transfer content from either an iPhone or another Android device, which is really great if you've just got your M8 and you're setting it up, you want to make sure everything works and it works perfectly. You can go down here, click on Transfer and Backup, and then click on Get Started for iPhone or Download for Android. For Android, the download will give you a tool to use to send over contacts, photos, videos, messages, things like that. iPhone will actually give you a guide on how to make a backup um, on a Mac using your iPhone. And then you can load that backup using this program, and then you can bring everything over from your iPhone. It's a really good feature to use if you just want to get everything going quickly. You can also backup and restore, which is a nice feature that you would have if you've rooted your device and you, you download a custom recovery, you can create a backup of everything on your phone in case anything goes wrong. But if you don't want to root, HTC is giving you this option to do that within their application, which is a really good feature. Check it out. I think you'll like it a lot. So that covers everything. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks a lot, everybody.